All right, so hopefully you can hear me. We are at La Mole 2022 here in Mexico City. This is the biggest Comic Con uh, Expo here in Mexico City. They hasn't been around for a couple years because of, you know what? So hopefully uh, we have a good day and we can see a lot of stuff. larguísima su fila de más hunter.
right, so we are back from the convention. Um, this is a couple days later. Um, it was really good. I had a lot of fun. So this is a convention in Mexico City that goes for three days. It'll be a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, because of COVID, it was canceled a couple years in a row. This is the first time, I think, in three years that they open it at this uh, at their previous site. They moved to a different site, then they came back. So this is located near the center of the city. The other one was kind of on the outskirts. Um, it, this one is super easy to get to. So there was a ton of people, as you can see. There were, the, the line went around the building. We got there around 10.30 and the line was pretty big, but we got through it real quick because we bought our tickets online. It was really fun. It was my first convention with both of my kids and my, my wife. And it was plenty of fun. Uh, there weren't that many artists uh, at the artist alley from, you know, like big named artists, but there were some good ones. And it's just gonna keep improving. So if you're thinking about going to a, a convention or something like that on outside of the US, Mexico City War La Mole, that's it's a pretty good uh, convention to go to. It's pretty fun. I did pick up some stuff, not a lot, not a lot. Uh, one of the first ones, my son bought himself a Funko Pop. This is Spider-Man. This is the integrated suit. And as you can see, let me take it out. So, there it is. I'm, I'm not a big, big, giant fan of Funko Pops, um, but he, he wanted, he's a big fan of Spider-Man, as you can see. So he opened that one, he got that one. Another Funko Pop that I got, this was a gift from my friend. This is Tanjiro, Tanjiro Kamado. This is from Demon Slayer, uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba. And it's a glow in the dark. I think this is a special edition. I'm not opening this. I'm gonna put in a protective little thing. Uh, but that's really cool. I really like the Demon Slayer uh, anime. So this is a pretty cool edition. And he's a dope character, so that's pretty awesome. Um, another thing that we got so on this one I don't know if other conventions have done this in the past they have these art books so it's about the size of a comic book exact same size and as you can see that's a uh, the cover is from Bart Sayers and it gives you the names of the artists at the artist alley and then their artwork and this year the theme was carnage you can see there and they just did a whole bunch of carnage artists arts pieces so even though some of them are not uh, this type of you know art for them that sometimes they're like you know cute little things and stuff like that they all did a carnage on their version you see that And so we, we had a good time going around, hunting the, the artists, getting their autographs and all that. So we have some really cool ones. So we have two of those books. So I did one for Luke, my son. And then I just did one, which was just regular signatures. So we were hunting those down, so that's pretty cool. And we have more artwork. If you want to see more artwork, let me know in the description. I could go, you know, like I dropped you. Then we also got another art book, and I completely, you know, like, forgot about it. So we got two of these, and these also have uh, art inside. And the theme, I think, was uh, Bride of Frankenstein, or Monsters, or something like that. Because there's, like, a bunch of vampires, like Universal. This looks like Universal. I think this was the theme that they were going to do last year. Because it says 2001, October 2001, 2021, I'm sorry. And they sold it this year because some of the same artists were here. Uh, not all of them, of course. So that was pretty cool. I missed out on that. Hopefully, if I go again in October, some of the artists will be there again. And I could get these signatures with the new art book. So on top of that, we also got this like fan package. And it brought some goodies in there, which now I can't find my pins and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but like, you got the, it was like 50 bucks. 
and you got a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, a bag, you got this comic book. Uh, what is this? 121. So it's a Spider-Man, John Romita. Then I got this like foil spawn endgame from Image. And I think this one's in Spanish. So that's still cool. Um, I did meet, um, <coughs> so this is for, the, this is De La Rosa, and we got this one, and I did it for, for Luke, and you can see a Venom up there, pretty cool. There was an artist doing, like, comic book sketches, so we got my son as Spider-Man, even though his name is Luke, but he did a really spot-on on that David uh, Nix N Y X the Nix I don't know if that's how he pronounces it but I'll leave a link hopefully in the description with his Instagram we also got this World Cup of Death you get that reference you get the reference but I thought it was really cool so I got this one from the artist he gave me a, a nice little signature then we got some prints, and this one was one of these was part of the like the fan package, which now I gotta take care of these. Um, I forgot who the artist is, and I should have got an autograph if he was there. Right? So that's pretty cool. La Mole, I mean it's like the thing. That's the, his name in in Spanish. I don't know why they called the convention like that, but that's what they did. So that's La Mole. The thing, the, the convention is called in English. We have this one from, I don't know who did this, but it's pretty cool. There's like a whole bunch of geek, nerdy stuff in there. I see a Death Star, I see Star Trek, I see uh, Back to the Future. Well, th these two vehicles were there, as you can see, the DeLorean and the Batmobile. So that could be it. And then just some promo posters from Moon Knight. And I think that's it. Let me see. I'm gonna sneeze a little bit. Yeah, I have to sneeze a little bit. Oh, uh, we got this one too. It's a print of a Lucha Libre luchador. So he's a wrestler. And it's Octagon. So like, it's, it's cool. I liked it. But yeah, guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think if you would ever go to a convention like that or there. And um, I'm, I'm looking forward to go back to like C2E2 and stuff. It's, it's fun, take my kids there. Once uh, Leia grows up a little bit more, she'll understand. And Luke was taking pictures with everybody. So that was pretty awesome to see my son just enjoying and embracing the, the nerdy side of things. He was hunting down every Spider-Man that he could. He was looking for a uh, Black Panther. Nobody was dressed as Black Panther until the end this lady was dressed as Black Panther. And he was going all nuts over it so yep yeah, uh please subscribe please give it a thumbs up let me know what you think about it and catch you on the next one